Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to play sound from the simple press of a button. Now on my desktop here I have a sound file. It's quite unpleasant and it does sound like someone's on the toilet. So I'll just play it for you. Yeah, yeah not very nice. So go to Xcode, File, New Project. Make sure it's a view based application for the iPhone. Now name this simple sound. Now just drag it over here. Now having sound in your application is it does make it a lot more entertaining and more fun, especially if it's a paid application. So obviously you want your customers to get the the well the best out of the money they paid for it. <coughs> Sorry. Now, the first thing you want to want to do is just simply drag our sound file straight into the resources. Make sure you copy it to the designated folder just in case you need it later on in your project. And so that's simply done. Now, our second thing we're going to want to do before we start the code is add a framework. So you just make this bigger for you. So you just right click or control click on frameworks, go to add and existing frameworks. And we're going to want to add audio toolbox dot framework so add that now we go straight into our dot h and after the ur kit we type in the hash sign import space the little arrow pointing to the left I don't know what that's called and we type in audio toolbox slash audio toolbox dot h and then another little arrow and then we want to add in our IB action. Oh, so it's having IB action. Bracket. And I'll name this play. Semicolon and that. And save that. And now we're going to want to go into our .m file. Just where we can start simply writing the code. So we start with our action button. So IB action. Bracket. And we named it play. Semicolon. Enter, curly bracket, enter again. Now we start with our capital, so CFB then bundle, capital REF, so we get CF bundle ref, space main bundle, capital B bundle, space equal sign space. Okay, again, capital CF bundle get main bundle and after them two brackets you put a semicolon and press enter and again capital again so CF URL ref there we go space sound capital F file capital URL capital our ref and that we render a semicolon and press enter then sound file again URL ref space equal sign space CF B under capital C copy bundle or copy resource sorry resource URL and in the first highlighted section here, we're going to want to put main bundle, like that. And then in this highlighted section here, we want to put bracket, capital CF, oh, bracket, capital CF, string, capital R, ref, there and then bracket and in this highlighted section we want to want to put the name of our audio file which we named it sound one well I named it sound one so then we type do this by the at sign quotation mark sound one and that with a quotation mark get rid of that bracket there and we do a comma space C F S T R 
space bracket and the format of which are audio files in which mine is a WAV WAV file so we do quotation mark type in WAV wave, wherever you want to say it quotation mark bracket and then comma space null bracket quotation um, blah, semicolon sorry let me enter and then press enter again two enters now the second part of the code is ui int 32 space sound capital id semicolon enter audio nope capital a audio capital services capital create system sound id and in this first highlighted section we're going to want to put sound capital file url ref and in the second highlighted section we put the and symbol sound id and after the um, bracket we put a semicolon and enter in our next line we do audio capital A audio capital S services capital P play capital S system sound and this highlighted section here we put sound ID then after that bracket there we do quotation mark and enter and we end it with a curly bracket and that's all the code needed so simply save that and zoom out so roughly it should look something similar or in, well, exactly like that apart from your sound file name which will obviously be to whichever your file is called and whatever format you have selected so to zoom out now we're going to want to go into our nib file to add our round rect button so we just wait for this to load ok now that it's loaded we're going to want to drag in our round rect button I'll make it nice and big and name it play now we click on our files owner, drag that there, click on our files owner, sorry, and click and hold and drag this play action button to the round back button and touch up inside. Save that and quit and then go straight away, make sure it's in simulator, yep, yeah, straight away to build and run. Should have no problems, but again, if we do, it's nice and easy and simple to rectify them. Okay, it's built. So the simulator should load now. There we go. So simply we can press my button and you can hear that very, very disgusting sound of a man on a toilet doing his business. It is not the nicest of sounds, but to be honest, I don't know why I chose it. But it's, it's all good. Let me just wait for this to load up now. There we go. So we simply press the button and our sound plays and we can press it as many times and it just repeats itself over and over again so that's nice and simple I hope this helps you in your projects and um, make sure you um, I'll put links in the description for the apps I have on the app store and my twitter and facebook make sure you like and follow them also the most important thing is to subscribe to my youtube account as I've got many tutorials coming out and I have many tutorials already out which you, you should check out because there are some pretty good ones there but in the meantime make sure you thumbs up it and comment on it anything you think I can prove in my um, tutorials or if you want to suggest a tutorial anything like that just simply put a comment or send me a message any will do but for now make sure you um, the usual comment, rate, subscribe and I'll see you all next tutorial